Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Last we left off, we... We finally convinced all the towns to send aid to Bruma in case of a, uh... Basically, the Mythic Dawn wants to spawn a giant-ass Oblivion game Bruma to attack Cloud Ruler Temple. And so we had to convince a bunch of the towns in Cyrodiil to send aid and make sure to basically boost the defenses. So as a reward, uh, the Countess... Uh, well, we got 25 gold for it, technically, which I think we should be paid a lot more for that, but, uh, basically, the point of this part is that we're going to be doing something that the Countess wants us to do, which is, basically, she has this alien collection, and she's missing one piece, and that piece is called the Draconian Mad Stone, should consider the and that's, uh, that's the plan, uh, that's the point of today's part. Uh, we did go ahead and see what else Martin needed to complete the ritual, and the la basically the only thing we needed was to get the armor of Type Receptum, which we do have. Uh, you can check last part to uh, basically see that. Uh, but we're not doing that. We're not turning in the armor just yet. We uh, we are instead going to go help the Countess. Uh, what was her name? Countess Narina Carvain. We're going to help her get the Draconian mad soon. Uh, unfortunately, by the looks of it, there doesn't appear to be um, a waypoint to Pale Pass, uh, the ruins of Pale Pass. So I'm probably going to look this up right quick to figure out where the hell it is. So, hold on. I probably should have done that before I started the part, but... Um, uh, well, as you can see, I didn't. Uh, okay, hold on. Pale Pass Oblivion. Also, I forgot to say, uh, hello to you too, uh, Milder Water. I hope you're having a good Thursday night. Alright, um... Pale Pass, snow area... Oh, oh, it's up there, huh? Okay, that's actually not that far. Hey, aren't we lucky? Best Thursday of the week. Nice job. That's awesome. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, aside from the streaming stuff and all that, uh. I recorded my first ever voice acting demo reel beginning of the week. I didn't record it with this microphone. I recorded it with um, a blue microphone, more specifically the blue Nessie. So uh, I'm not turning it into anything yet. I'm waiting for, um, I'm just currently waiting for any sort of opportunities from any particular show creators that I follow. Oh, uh, I should also point out, um, between last part and now, like I said, what I've been doing, any dungeons slash Oblivion Gates that I come across, I will be doing on my own time, which I did a bunch of earlier this morning. So, yeah, we now have pretty much a full suit of ebony armor and an ebony shield, minus we still have an orc helmet. Uh, we also have ourselves an ebony longsword that i'm gonna wait and uh i'm not gonna use it just yet because i want to enchant it hopefully turn it into the suka blia mark four but i don't have a sigil stone that gives it more shocking damage so that's gonna have to wait a little bit anyway onward to pale pass Uh, I've been streaming since, I want to say, uh, late August, mid-August this year. I tried to get into streaming earlier, like, Hello. very early this year, like, January. But, 
Eh, I didn't have a entirely good PC at the time, so I kind of dropped it. But then I got my stimulus uh, near summer, which allowed me to get a much better PC. And so I figured, you know what? I'm going to give this uh, streaming thing another shot. And so far, it's going pretty well. Alright, so... Dragon Claw Rock. Hmm. Streaming is fun. I, I really enjoy it. Right now, uh, given the sort of uh, hardware limitations I still do have, I uh, won't be streaming any beefy games at the, at the moment, so I'm just streaming what I can run, basically. Ooh. Whose statue is this? Someone's statue. I don't know whose statue it is, but someone's. Well, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a look back at this map right here. Uh, one must go through the date. Okay, so we'll have to go through a cave called Serpent's Trail, which is like near here. The icon from what I can understand is a icon of a cave. So. No? Okay. I. Well, found an invisible wall. Hold on, let me kill this Minotaur right quick. Oh yeah, I also got my heavy armor uh, skill. Leveled up to the point where I can now pretty much go as fast as I can in heavy armor. Also, where the fuck is this? Willpower's been damaged, but I do not care. Is the cave somewhere down here? Cause like I obviously I can't go like yeah I can't go that far. Maybe I have to go down here near the dragon claw thingy. Okay, like, this wiki is showing me, like, it, it's showing me Serpent's Trail, which is where I have to go, but, like, I can't, like, go there. Uh, Pale Pass, Clear Mountain. Return turn only appears after... Yeah, I... I started lifting the veil... I started it. Why the hell isn't it, like... She's off for it. Speak to her. Oh, pfft. Oh, I'm an idiot. I have to speak to her for more information. Well, ain't I an idiot?
Oh, I also did retrieve the fucking Nurnaru quest, which is... Uh, for the sake of this playthrough, I will not be doing this fucking Nurnaru quest. Because, uh, I don't- I didn't like it in Skyrim, so I'm not doing it here. Hear me out before you make your decision. Alright, he'll pass. Are you familiar with the history of Pale Pass? Mm, <laughs> no one, I don't care. <laughs> no. Back at the end of the first era, Raiders from the continent of Akavir attempted to gain a foothold here in Tamriel. At that time, the oh. Empire was broken into smaller factions. Raymond Cyrodiil decided to unify them and form an army to repel the Akaviri raiders. The force became known as the Army of Raymond. The two armies clashed in what's now northern Cyrodiil. The Akaviri were strong and well supplied. But their greatest error was marching through Morrowind on the way to their objective and dismissing the response it would garner from Vivek. They didn't count on Lord Vivek forming an alliance with the trident kings of the Dreg. From Morrowind he struck at their rear flank. Not only did this make the Akaviri fight on two fronts, it also cut off access to reinforcements and supplies from the sea. So, history lessons are boring. So the Alliance ended the conflict? Not quite. The army of Raymond knew that the organized Akaveri forces were commanded from a hidden post in the mountains. Rumors placed it in a snowy vale called Pale Pass. That's where Raymond focused his attention. As his forces fought their way across the Gerald Mountains, the Akaveri suddenly surrendered. It was assumed they were overwhelmed and gave up. The only strange part was that the command post and pale pass were never found. It was dismissed as a rumour and the army of Raymond celebrated. It's come to my attention that the post did exist and it happens to be the last reported location of the draconian madstone. Huh. If you retrieve the Draconian Madstone for me, I'll be happy to compensate you by rewarding you with another Akaviri artifact. Are you game? Hell yeah. I had a feeling you'd accept. Good. Then let me tell you how you're going to find the Madstone. I've come into the possession of a diary written by an Akaviri messenger. I suspect that the text within can lead you to the ruins. Here's a translation of the passages we could still read. It was quite damaged. I've also included a rough map that was drawn in the diary as well. I'm also providing you with a unique key that was supposedly found with the diary. I'm assuming it'll prove useful when you arrive at the site. Is there anything else? The Madstone awaits, <clears throat> and so do Oh, okay, gotcha. May the path ahead be free of danger. All right. I've accepted the task. Countess Carvain revealed that she has the diary of a messenger from the original Akaviri army that marched on Cyrodiil at the end of the First Era. The messenger's diary supposedly gives clues to the location of the ruins at Pale Pass. The Countess has provided me with a map, a translation of the diary to use as a guide, and a key that may unlock the uh, door at the site. Alright, well, let's take a look at these things. Um, if I can fucking find it. There we go. Day three. It was with a heavy heart and a trembling hand that I... Oh. That I penned this latest entry. It has been several days since I have been since I have seen anyone else on the road from our garrison at Grey Ridge. The road is lonely and treacherous. I am rationing my supplies to prepare for a tough path ahead. As long as Raymond Cyrodiil's army hasn't located our headquarters at Pale Pass, the journey should be fairly un uneventful. I admit I am nervous. It is an honor to be selected to carry these orders to our f to our fort, but sending me alone is a calculated risk. While it is not my own life I am worried about. It is the importance of the contents of the orders that grieves me. 
If they are somehow lost, the fort will not know that their supplies are going to be delayed by a month. Without that knowledge, the fort may choose to press the attacks on the front line as their supplies dwindle. They're counting on the supplies to be there sooner. I must not fail getting this message there. The slight rock that the orders have been carried or carved upon for safety weighs me down. It is a constant reminder of the more than physical burden that I carry. That I carry. Day 7. It has been two days, and I finally arrived at Dragonclaw Rock. The huge formation is a welcome and invigorating sight. The giant stone appears to reach down from the north and strike at the heart of Remus' forces, like our armies have been doing for the better part of, for, of a year now. I have still encountered no one else on this trail. I hope that as I head due west along the narrow path, I'll find someone who can give me some news as to how our men are faring in the war. Day 8. <clears throat> After winding my way westward, I have come within sight of the sen of the Sentinel, a, ho a huge statue placed here by some unknown artist many years ago. It stands watch pointing north, as if daring anyone to cross the borders into the Imperial Nation. Remus would be quite angry if he knew we used this very statue as a waypoint point into his domain. Last night, I encountered another one of our messengers who had been beset by a pack of mountain wolves. His leg was hurt badly, but I managed to help heal it with an ampule of medicine I... Ooh, excuse me. I carried with me. He said his name was... I hate this. I hate this fawn. Sileg? Si si I don't know. He was on his way from Pill Pass to request some more supplies. I discussed with him the irony of our meeting, and he decided to travel with me back to the fort, since his mission would be needless. We planned to leave at nightfall. Day 9. I'm using much of my remaining strength writing this. As we had made our way north from the Sentinel, we were attacked by perhaps some pack of wolves that attacked some person. <laughs> He had chased them off earlier after being bitten, but now that they had tasted blood, they had returned in greater number. Fighting back to back, Person and I slew at least eight of the beasts, but not before one of them clawed my gut and left a terrible wound. We were able to drive them off, but now I am bleeding badly, and the only medicine I had I gave to pot to <laughs> Person. <laughs> we have decided to continue north until we reach the portal to the Serpent's Trail and seek a cover inside. I will try to write more soon, but I must sleep. I'm so very tired. Day 11. This is the last entry I shall be able to write. We entered the Serpent's Trail nearly a day ago, seeking shelter from the elements and the wolves. What we did not foresee was the creatures that had decided to make the Serpent's Trail their home. I did not see them clearly, but they were huge and strong. The person died instantly as one of them cleaved off his head with a single stroke. There were three of these huge, ugly, man-like creatures. I ran as fast as I dared through the dark tunnels, trying to escape. But as I fled, one of them hurled a boulder at me and struck me square in the back. I managed to crawl through a smaller opening and escape the lumbering monsters, but I soon realized that crawling is all I would be able to do. I think the boulder shattered my spine. I can no longer feel my legs. My wound from the wolf attack has reopened and I have lost much blood. I fear that this is far... This is as far as I shall be able to go. I failed my mission. I have been unable to get these orders to the fort at Pale Pass. I'm so close, yet it may as well be leagues away since I can no longer walk and my strength is draining. A fellow messenger or soldier picks up the diary. Please get the orders to the fort before it is too late. And please tell my wife, Vata, that Shafiri will always love her. Man, that was kind of sad. Hello. Oh, okay. You see, now, okay, now the cave uh, appears.
To Serpent's Trail I go. I wonder what kind of beasties I will be running into uh, if I'm to learn from that from that note. Ah, rats! I should have known. Oh shit. Oh, that must be Akaviri orders. Oh, I oh I can't even read it. Oh, okay. Ogres. It was ogres. Well, if that diary is anything to go by, there will be three of them. Oh, hey, there's one right now. Look, there's one of them now. Oh, not, oh, actually, I could theoretically still go that way. Ah, a bear! More bears! Oh, God. And an ogre! Oh, shit, hold on. I need to drink potion. Alright, do that, and then drink potion. healers. Ah, uh, there they are. Good glug glug. Glug glug, motherfucker. No, I need that. There's a lot of chests in here. Oh, so wait, am I... Am I by technical... Am I in Skyrim? Technically?
This must be the fort. Oh, cool. Whoa. Oh my god, can I stop getting fucking staggered? Yeah. Oh. Alright. Half hour at 69 repair hammers. Nice. Hey there, Crimella. How's your Thursday? You skelly man. Oh. oh, Jesus. That skeleton sent me flying.
scales of the serpent. Oh shit! Yeah. Ow, my head. Fast as fuck, boy. Oh, there's no way to get up from here. Well, ha, diggity damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, God, they're all, they're, they're all jumping down to get me. Ow. Have at ye, you skeletons! For I shall take your life a second time! Damn this thing being a short sword. Oh. Wait, there's two things? Wait, so did I just come from the eyes or the scales? 
Oh, okay. Well, this is new. Let's use this for a change, even though it's not enchanted yet. Damn it. Skeleton got fucked by the trap. Jesus, there's so many parts of the serpent. Grab those torches. Alright, so we're back in the fangs. Let's go to the mouth. The mouth. Christ. Okay, so, yeah, this, okay. It all goes back to the place where you started. Alright, so we head back to the fangs.
arrival, messenger. You have made a long and perilous journey, but there is no time to rest. The army of Raymond is at our doorstep, and our supplies have dwindled. We have awaited your arrival. Tell us, what news do you bring from Akavir? Here are your orders. Well done, soldier. Your mission is complete, and you have my thanks. Now we may rest. Long live the Akavir. After seeing the orders, the Akavir commander vanished. The rumors are now silent and at peace. After so many years, the Akaviri's final mission has been completed. I should proceed ahead and search for the Mad Stone. Ooh! Oh, wait, hold on. You're on the bone mail. Let me look at this quest one more time. Well, there's the mad soon. I've obtained the Draconian Mad Center. I should now make the long journey back to Countess Carvina and Bruma. <laughs> oh, wait, whoops. I'm gonna double check, make sure I got everything in there. Yep. 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 And yep. Back to Bruma we go. I can remember. Oh, yeah. The ruins appear to be infested with undead Akaviri. I don't know how long they've been trapped here, but I should proceed with caution. Wait. Um. I think you're giving me that notification a little too late game. Alright, uh. I should be able to just fast travel back, shouldn't I? Yes, I can. Holy shit, that's actually really good. Huh. wonder if I can convince her to let me keep the math soon. You're the one that saved Shade. Yes, 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 I am. Welcome back, my lord. 
Have you recovered the madstone? Indeed. I never thought it possible. <clears throat> I mean, I had hoped. But to actually hold it in my hands. Oh, it's more beautiful than I imagined it. Congratulations. I had a feeling you were the right person for the job. And it seems I owe you a reward. This Akaviri ring was found with the messenger's diary. It awards the wearer with increased agility and resistance to harmful magic. It's known as the Ring of the Viper Eye. I hope it serves you well in your future journeys. Hell yeah. May luck be always on your side. Hell yes. Is there other? Is there another way? Like I can enchant blades, or do I need the sigil stones in order to enchant them? That's a lot of stuff I might go ahead and sell before we continue on. Yeah, I'm actually going to look this up right quick. Oh, damn. Wait, if you have a if you use a soul gem, you can use multiple gems. Hmm. That's interesting to know. Is damage health like really that good? Cause if it's if it's like really fucking good, I'll actually like use it. You know what? I'll give this a shot. I will... Yeah. I want to see how well this can actually do. In the meantime, though, I'm going to go sell some stuff. No, oh, I just realized I don't have any, like, necklaces or amulets. Uh, enchanted ones, anyway. No, wait, I do. God, I don't know why I... <sighs> Fortify agility and resist magic 10% um, with this one. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's You know what? I will replace Aegis or Aegis, however you want to pronounce it. And I will wear Viper Eye. It is a privilege. Do you think the attack will come soon, sir? All right. Let's head over here right quick. Sell uh, some of our stuff. May 
I help? I have everything for... You never know when you might need a good strong potion. Best to stock up now. That's a good... Goodbye. Herbal grow slap. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? You got I can repair Bye. I hope I can. Let's do business. That's a fair deal. Farewell. All right. <coughs> Back to Cloud Ruler Temple we go to go talk to Martin, give him the armor of Tiber Septum. Uh, oh. Huh. My progress on the Mysterium Xarxes is slow, I'm afraid. How goes your search for the armor of Tiber Septim? I have it right here. The Septim blood may flow through my veins, but you have the soul of a hero. The armor of Tiber Septim himself. Joffrey will be amazed to see it. You can reassure Joffrey that I will not destroy the armor. All I need is a scraping of Talos' divine blood. The blades are as touchy as priests about relics of Tiber Septim, it seems. What else can I do to help? While you were gone, I've made some progress in deciphering the Mysterium Xarxes ritual. The third item we need is a great Welkin stone. Hey, I just so happen to have that. You may have run across lesser Welkin stones. They're fairly common in alien ruins. But a great Welkin stone will not be easy to come by. They have been plundered one by one over the years, due to their great value to mages and occultists. There is only one place that is rumored to still contain one. The ruins of the Aeliad city of Miskarkand. A place where many have perished seeking its great stone. But nothing else will do, so you must succeed where all others have failed. I can't remember if this was on stream or not, but you may remember I actually went to Miskarkand. Uh, earlier than the game intended for me to, to do, so I already have the Great Welkin Stone. You are a wonder. Not only the hero of Kavach, but the master of Miskarkand as well. What is the last item we need? I should have seen it sooner. It's the counterpart to the Great Welkin Stone, just as the first two were the opposed powers of the Daedra and the Divines. Welkin stones contain the concentrated power of Mundus. Their counterparts are sigil stones, which are used to hold open oblivion gates. A great sigil stone, then, is what we require. Sigil stone? What's the catch? You're not going to like it. Geoffrey doesn't like it. The Countess of Bruma certainly isn't going to like it. Great sigil stones are the anchors of great gates, the kind of gate the mythic dawn opened at Kavach. The kind of gate the mythic dawn wants to open here to destroy Bruma. So we let them open the gate? I said you weren't going to like it. The risk is great, I know. I was at Kavach. I saw the terrible power of the Daedric siege engine. But we have no choice. The only way to recover the Amulet of Kings is to allow the mythic dawn to proceed with their plan to attack Bruma. Well, at least you'll be safe here. No. I'll lead the defense of Bruma myself. If I am to be Emperor, it's time I started acting like one. It's too risky. I'll lead the battle. Remember when we first met in Kavach? I told you that I didn't want any part of the God's plan. 
I still don't know if there is a divine plan, but I've come to realize that it doesn't matter. What matters is that we act, that we do what's right when confronted with evil. That's what you did at Kavach. It wasn't the gods that saved us, it was you. Were you acting for the gods? I don't know. But now, it's my turn to act. As you command. Please, my friend. I need your judgment, not your obedience. I explain myself to you so you understand me, and so you can explain to the Countess. I'm afraid she may take a bit more convincing than you. I'll inform the Countess at once. Good. Have her meet me in the Chapel of Talos for a council of war. That seems a fitting place to make such desperate plans. You're making a big risk, my dude. But, hey. Whatever gets us to, um... Fucking what's-his-face, then... Yeah. Greetings. What news from Cloud Ruler Temple? Uh, battle plans. A desperate plan indeed. This prince? Emperor? Martin would risk my whole city to gain a great sigil stone? We must recover the amulet. This is the only way to stop this invasion from oblivion? I must confess. You are the first person to speak of victory against these Daedra. This war has seemed hopeless to me. But what else was there to do but hold on and wait for a hero to arise to save us? And now it seems there is an heir to the throne after all, hidden at Cloud Ruler Temple. And perhaps a hero as well? Martin awaits at the chapel. You avoid answering my question. Very well. Don't think I doubt you. The rulers of Bruma have long had dealings with Cloud Ruler Temple. We know whom they serve. I will meet Martin at the chapel. When all is ready, I will order my men to stop closing the gates and prepare for battle. Well, this is certainly going to be interesting. Good evening. What's going on with you? Hey, Crymo, you're going to get your wish. We're going to be closing the Oblivion Gate this part. I'm ready for battle when you are, champion. What say you? Let the battle begin. So be it. Bruma's fate is in the hands of the gods now. And yours. Bird, deploy the troops for battle. As you command, Countess. My place is on the battlefield. The time for hiding in Cloud Ruler Temple is over. Come. 
Let us go down to battle together. Hell yeah. We must protect Martin during the battle. He is the Empire's last hope. Martin has made his decision. The blades stand beside him. They tell us guide you, my friend. I look forward to fighting by your side again. Stay safe. Come on! My men will need all the help they can get today. Oh, this is cool. Uh, I mean, you could, you couldn't give Martin a suit of armor to wear. Okay. Look at all this fast boys running. I arrived at the battlefield to find one open oblivion gate. Once all three are open, the mythic dawn will open a great gate, which I must enter and retrieve its great sigil stone. Martin and I have arrived on the battlefield. I must protect Martin until the great gate opens. Soldiers of Cyrodiil, the Empire will stand or fall by what we do here today. Will we let the Daedra do to Bruma? What they did to Kavach? Will we let them burn our homes? Will we let them kill our families? No, we make our stand here today for the whole of Cyrodiil. We must hold fast until the hero of Kavach can destroy their great gate. We must kill whatever comes out of that gate. Soldiers of Cyrodiil, do you stand with me? Stay sharp. That's the best you can do. Training of thousands is bad. Oh, damn, I can't repair it in front of enemies. Uh, that makes sense. Alright. Um... Do I have any graders? Yes, I do.
Jesus. Great gate has opened. I must enter at once and get its great sigil sound before the broom of defenders are overwhelmed. Oh, oh. oh my fucking goodness. Huh. That's a giant ass gate. Oh my lord. Alright. Uh, can I tag out? All right, I'm going to recharge this sword again. Uh, hopefully, yes. All right. All right, let's go kick some oblivion ass. I've entered the great gate. The Daedric siege machine is crawling towards the portal. If it, if it exits the gate before I reach the social zone, it always... Okay, so I'm kind of on a time limit here. Okay, well, shit. Um, I assume... Can I enter these towers up here? Shit, I don't think I can. Alright, looks like I'm just going over the lava. Oh, wait. Never mind. Alright. Now I'm a fast boy now, I should be able to get this done quickly. We have 13 minutes. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fucking bother with that. So get all the way down, fucking jump across the bridge. Oh wait, the gate, uh, the door must be right here. Yes. Head and head down here right quick.
Oh. Okay, get, just gonna ignore that arrow right there. Alright. Open faster! Alright, we got 10 more minutes. Oh no, my personality has been damaged. Alright. Oh cool, I leveled up. I got the sigil key. Hell yeah! Booyah! Oh, shit! I reached the Great Sigil Stone and closed the gate. The Battle of Bruma is won. Now to give the Sigil Stone to Martin.
We won a great victory here today. We now have the means to recover the Amulet of Kings from Manka Cameron. But we need to act quickly. Cameron will not take long to recognize his danger. Remember, the portal closes behind you. Anything you need, carry it with you. I'll have the ritual ready in the Great Hall when you arrive. Farewell. All right. I have everything necessary for the ritual to use the Xarxes to open a portal to Cameron's paradise. <laughs> Remember, the portal will close behind you, so you will need to take everything you need. The only way to close all the Oblivion Gates forever is for me to relight the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. Our only hope is to recover the Amulet of Kings from Manka Cameron. As a young man, I grew impatient with Mage's Guild restrictions, as did many of my fellow apprentices. We threw ourselves into the riddles of Daedric magic. We hungered for forbidden secrets. Knowledge and power were our gods. You can guess the rest. We got in over our heads. People died. My friends died. I've put those days behind me. But the bitter wisdom that one has been a fool is not without value. All right. Farewell, my friend. <sighs> Jesus. Woo! All right. So, we're actually not going to do that yet because one thing I'm going to do first is I'm going to restock on uh, basically all the soul gems. I'm going to use up what I can right now. Just max out my swords. So, that one. Thankfully, uh, I did, I made myself like a little list of all the places where I can actually buy soul gems. So I'm going to head to those places right quick and then buy and then obviously continue on with the main quest. Which I think is like, we might be near the end of it. What is it? So I'm not 100% certain though. Oh wait, shit. Uh, I can level up, so let's head to the inn here and rest. Go ahead. I do have a Fine. I do have to head to a church or just any chapel and pray so I can get rid of my damaged sats. Alright, so we're gonna go speed, willpower. And then strength. I'm maxing out that strength. And now I can run even faster! I have everything. Let's do business. No. That's a fair deal. That's a good. That's. Good day. Actually, do I have weapons I can sell? Uh, the Dramora Broadhead, but I mean, hmm, doesn't really need to be. It's my pleasure. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? An excellent, a good price. Take care.
It's my place. Can I interest you in some of my wares? A fine pleasure do. Pleasure doing business. An excellent deal. All right. Now I gotta head over to Coral. Coral. Uh, this is a bit of an old meme for you. Well met. It is a privilege. God damn it. After it's my Ah, uh, I forgot what this goddamn merchant you have to wait for him to actually get behind the counter. And again, I don't know if he's actually gonna get behind the goddamn counter. It's you. Hi. Okay, there we go. Hell yeah. A pleasure. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to... A bargain at any price. A... An excellent... An excellent deal. I let that go too cheaply. I... Be seeing you. Next is Anvil. After that is the win, and then we're going to head back. Hello there. Okay, I don't buy Hi. from you. I buy from you. I'm Felon. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure. You're a fine bargain for you. A bargain at a fine bargain. A f Bye. Right then, all the way back to Leowin. Evening. I have to wait again, don't I? I'm... I mean, I could be lucky. Damn, okay, yeah, I'm gonna... Have to wait. Well met. Bye. All right. The fuck? Salutations. there good morning i've heard brodress at the fighters guild is well nice to meet 
I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all. A fine new driver. I wouldn't make that deal with just. <coughs> <laughs> All your travels be safe. All right, back up to Bruma we go. I shouldn't need to restock on any repair hammers, right? I think I should be fine on that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save it. I have everything in place for <clears> you <throat> two. I'll open the portal <clears throat> whenever you're ready. Yes, open it. I don't know what you'll find in Cameron's Paradise. Open I it. I do know the portal I create through the Mysterium <clears throat> Xarxes ritual will close behind you. You'll have to find another way back. I believe that Manka Cameron acts as the anchor for Paradise. Just as a sigil stone anchors an oblivion gate in place. Kill Manka Cameron, and you will unmake his paradise. Shall I open the portal to paradise? Are you ready? Yes. Open the portal to paradise. Farewell, my friend. Our fate is in your hands. Bring back the Amulet of Kings. Brace yourself. Whoa, that's fucking weird. Oh, goodbye now. Looks like I was looking into the Eye of Sauron. Uh, I've arrived in Cameron's Paradise. The portal closed behind me. I must find Maekar Cameron. Kill him and recover the Amulet of Kings. Hello, dear. Or fawn. I don't know. So, the cat's paw of the Septims arrives at last. You didn't think you could take me unawares, here of all places, in the paradise that I created. Oh, wait, hold well, Cannot use that. Get the storm after knock. Look now on my paradise. Gaia Alata in the old tongue. A vision of the past. Behold the savage garden where my disciples are tempered for a higher destiny to rule over Tamriel Reborn. If you are truly the hero of destiny, as I hope, the garden will not hold you for long. Lift your eyes to... Oh, whoops. Yeah. So you found your way to Gaia Arlata at last. Don't we have enough troubles here without you adding to them? Leave us alone. Your quarrel was with... Everyone here died in the Master's service. As the Master promised, we are now immortal. But our life here is a nightmare. The creatures of the Garden torment us endlessly. When no one has yet found a way to leave the Garden, 
except to those few given the bands of the Chosen and allowed to enter the Forbidden Grotto. Only those wearing the bands can enter the Forbidden Grotto. No one who enters the Grotto ever returns. The only way out of the Savage Garden. Only those wearing the bands of the Chosen may enter the Forbidden Grotto, but they never return, so we don't know what fate awaits them. Gair Alata is the master's name for this place. We usually just call it paradise. This is the Savage Garden. At the top of that mountain lies the Terrace of Dawn, which leads up to Mankar Cameron's palace, Carrick Agayalor. Beneath the mountain lies the Forbidden Grotto, the only way out of the Savage Garden. All right. Um, that didn't really help me, but okay. I assume my... Yeah, I assume we just have to keep following this random ass path down here until I get the. Yeah, I assume that's for the Forbidden Grotto right there. A the little cave thing. You destroyed the Sigil Tower at Ganona. My kin say you fought well. I seek Minkar Cameron. You speak directly, like one of my people almost. I'm glad I did not kill you immediately. What do you want then? There is but one way out of the garden. I guard that path. You will travel that path, and it will bring me honor to defeat you. But you shamed my kin at Kanona. To bring you into my service, that would also bring me honor. So I offer you a choice. Would you confront me in battle, or offer me service? I choose battle. Your mind follows the simple path, the choice of an animal. But you have courage at least. You will fail, mortal. And then, where will you be? Dead. And nothing. That was your guardian? Ooh. I have the bands of the Chosen. I should find the door to the Forbidden Grotto and see if he was telling the truth. Where's his sword? I want his sword. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The principalities have sparkled as gems in the black reaches of oblivion since the first morning. Many are their names and the names of their masters. The cold harbor of Meridia, Periite's quagmire, the ten moon shadows of Mithala and... and Dawn's beauty. The princedom of Lorcon, misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. Hmm. Oh, shit. I can't take. Okay, well. Wait, weakness of fire? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, whoops. God damn it. Tamriel is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion, long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed by those that served him. Lord Dagon cannot invade Tamriel, his birthright. He comes to liberate the occupied lands. Ask yourself, how is it that mighty gods die, yet the Daedra stand incorruptible? 
How is it that the Daedra forthrightly proclaim themselves to man, while the gods cower behind statues and the faithless words of traitor priests? It is simple. They are not gods at all. The truth has been in front of you since you first were born. The Daedra are the true gods of this universe. Julianos, Dibella, and Stondar are all Lorcan's betrayers, posing as divinities in the principality that has lost its guiding light. What are scholarship, love, and mercy when compared to fate, night, and destruction? The gods you worship are trifling shadows of first causes. They have tricked you for ages. The bands emit a red glow and the door opens. I've entered the Forbidden Grotto, now to find my way through the Terrace of the Dawn where I hope to find Mankar Cameron and the Amulet of Kings. Can I take this off me now? Damn it. Can I repair it at least? Why do you think your world has always been contested? Ground, the arena of powers and immortals. Is Tamriel, the realm of change, brother to madness, his sister to deceit. Your false gods could not entirely rewrite history. Thus you remember tales of Lorcan vilified, a dead trickster whose heart came to Tamriel. But if a god can die, how does his heart survive? He is Daedroth! Tamrielai Daedroth! This heart is the heart of the world, for one was made to satisfy the other. You all remember this. Oh, wait, whoops. I it don't. Is... Okay, well, good to know I wasn't able. I was supposed to kill him. Well, sorry about that. Um. Tamriel is just I mean, one more Daedric realm of oblivion, long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed by those that served him. Probably didn't matter. But... Lord Dagon cannot invade Tamriel, his birthright. <gasps> he comes to liberate the occupied lands. <gasps> Ask yourself, how is it that... How is it that the Daedra forthrightly proclaim themselves to... It is simple. They are... The truth has been in front of you since you first were born. The Daedra are the true gods of this universe. Julianos, Dibella, and Stondar are all Lorcan's betrothed, posing as divinities. What? I'm over encumbered. What the hell happened? Oh. Don't tell me, dude. My fucking. I forgot to go to a fucking temple. That's annoying as fuck. Hold on. What are scholarship, love, and mercy when compared to fate, night, and destruction? You wear the bands, but you're no prisoner. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm here to kill Menkar Cameron. Can you really do it? Can you bring this eternal nightmare to an end? Can you defeat Menkar Cameron and free all the souls of the poor fools who followed him? Listen, I can help you. 
You need my help if you are ever to leave the Forbidden Grotto. Who are you? I was one of Mankar Cameron's chief lieutenants. I helped plan the Emperor's assassination. I opened the Great Gate at Kvach. We were the Chosen. We saw more clearly than ordinary mortals. We would destroy the world and remake it. Mankar Cameron was our leader, our teacher, our master. He had the secret knowledge. He dealt with Mehrunes Dagon as an equal. Why would you help me? I was at the sack of Kvach. They had no chance. We took them by surprise, and we carried the walls in the first assault. But they fought on anyway, desperately. They seemed to think this decadent, mundane world of theirs was worth defending. I was slain after the battle was over. Three townsfolk hiding in the cellar attacked me when I entered their house, hunting down survivors. They tore me to pieces, although I have no doubt they were immediately killed by my companions. I've had plenty of time to ponder my deeds since I came here. Ponder and regret. An eternity of regret. For my weakness, the Master sent me here to torture my former comrades, who showed similar ingratitude for his gift of eternal life. How can you help me? No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave this grotto. The doors will not open, and there is no other way out. I can remove them, but I will need time. The Dremora Overseer will be here any minute to check up on me. You need to play along until he leaves. Mm. Just act like a prisoner, and do as I say. Once Orthe leaves, we can find a quiet spot to remove these bands. Fine, I'll play along. Good. Follow me, and don't worry. You can trust me. Oh, okay. They have tricked you for ages. Why do you think your world has always been contested ground, the arena of powers and immortals? This is Tamriel, the realm of change, the brother to madness, a prison sister sent in to deceit. By... Show me some respect. Your false gods could not entirely rewrite history. Thus you remember tales of Lorcan yes, Vilifon, a this dead trickster whose heart came Christian. to Tamriel. I was about to begin. But if a this god can die, how does his heart survive? From the garden. He is Daedron! Tamriel I Daedron! Escaped your vigilance. This heart! is the heart of the world, for one was made to satisfy the other. You all remember this. It is in every legend. Of course, Kinnadeed. Prisoner, Daedra cannot die, so your so-called gods cannot erase him from your minds completely. There's no way for me to cross, but the Master's immortality does have its uses. I will distract the Dramora for as long as I can. Eldermill told me he would meet me further into the caves where he would be able to remove the bands of the Chosen from my wrists. I should continue searching for a way through these caves to make our Cameron's palace.
That was probably something I didn't need to do, but I don't care. I will say the the danger of spiders. Uh, they kind of remind me a little bit of uh... shit. I can't remember what they're called. Oh my god! I'll... Oh, the the driders, the driders from Dungeons and Dragons. They kind of remind me of those. I didn't think you'd have any trouble. Let's get these bands off you. Yes, please. There. You're not a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto any longer. Hell yeah. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill Mankar Cameron. I am not without power. You know what? Sure. I am no match for Mankar Cameron, but perhaps together we can find a way to defeat him. Lead on. I'm all for redemption. There we go. There's my strength back. Well done, champion. Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. You think I mock you? Not at all. In your coming, I hear the footsteps of fate. You are the last defender of Decathan Tamriel. I am the midwife of the mythic dawn. Tamriel Reborn. I welcome you, if you truly are the agent of fate. I tire of the self-styled heroes who set themselves in my path only to prove unworthy. Probably gonna keep uh, this part going until we kill uh, Mankar. I'm not entirely sure if I already said that or not, but yeah. This part doesn't end until Mankar Cameron dies. Ha! I, I paralyzed you. Actually, I will save it, just in, like, just in case, I... Ooh! I assume we are nearing Mankar's palace now. You did not expect to see me again, did you? You have no grasp of the power that my father has at his command. You think you can stop us? Soon Mehrun's Dagon will walk upon Tamriel for the first time since the Mythic Age, and our victory will be complete. Come. My father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalor. I have 
waited a long time for you, champion of old Tamriel. You were the last gasp of a dying age. You breathed the stale air of false hope. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The walls between our worlds are crumbling. The mythic dawn grows nearer with every rift in the firmament. Soon, very soon, the lines now blurred will be erased. Tamriel and Oblivion rejoined, the mythic age reborn. Lord Dagon shall walk Tamriel again. The world shall be remade. The new age shall rise from the ashes of the old. My vision shall be realized. Weakness will be purged from the world, and mortal and immortal alike purified in the refiner's fire. My long duel with the Septims is over, and I have the mastery. The Emperor is dead. The Amulet of Kings is mine. And the last defender of the last ragged Septim stands before me in the heart of my power. Let us see who at last has proved the stronger. I found Menko Kammer in his palace of Karak Agayalor. Now I must kill him and take the Amulet of Kings back to Tamriel. You came for the amulet? Take it then. Do your work. <laughs> ah, Lord Dagon's victory is at hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Tamriel still has some fight left in here. Oh, Tamriel still has some fight left in her. Oh, okay. Shit. Um. Oh, that's better. Whoa. <laughs> ah. Ah. Uh oh. oh. I'm gonna take his stuff. Okay, no, he doesn't have anything. I killed Menko Cameron. Upon his death, the paradise he had created dissolved around me, and I found myself back in Cloud Ruler Temple with the amulet of kings in my hand. I must give the amulet to. Uh, I must give the amulet to Martin. Wait. Do homage to Martin's champion. You found a way back. Does this mean... Hell yeah. Make our camera in his den, my dude. You did it. You defeated him. Then you have it. You have the Amulet of Kings. Here. The Amulet belongs to you. Belongs to me? The Amulet of Kings? So you and Joffrey have said. If it is true... If the Emperor really was my father, then I should be able to wear it. Only those of the Septim blood can wear the Amulet of Kings. Put on the Amulet, Your Majesty. Yes, of course. What am I waiting for? After all, this is my destiny. And no man can deny his destiny. You see, you are your real son. I didn't really need the amulet to tell me that. I've known it was true since you first told me back in Kavach. But it is one thing to talk of becoming emperor, and quite another to actually be the emperor. You are the emperor. Not yet. Until we light the dragon fires, the gates are open, and Merun's Dagon's invasion continues. While you were gone, I sent a messenger to Chancellor Akato. He waits for us in the Imperial City. Why me, Akato? Chancellor Akato is the head of the Elder Council. The Council rules in the Emperor's absence. I don't expect any objections from the Elder Council, but we should defer to their authority. Let's go to the Imperial City at once, before the enemy can recover from Manka Cameron's death. All right. You made it. Not that I was worried about you. Time is pressing. Martin must relight the dragon fires before the enemy can stop us. 
Once Martin uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires, the barriers between Oblivion and Tamriel will be restored. The Oblivion gates will close, and Merun's Dagon's invasion will have failed. Martin is right. Declaring oneself Emperor is a delicate matter. In this case, however, I do not think there should be any dispute. The Elder Council has been governing the Empire since the Emperor's murder. They will be overjoyed to have an heir to crown. They've been unable to solve the Oblivion Crisis. The Empire is falling apart. Only a legitimate Emperor offers any hope. Stay safe. Uh... Hmm. Congratulations on your victory. Hold on. That's right. Oh shit. Speed. All right. Well, um That is where I'm going to end it for this part of Oblivion. Um I take it we are probably near the end of the main quest, but not near the end of the series, I should add. Because even, like I said before, at the start of this playthrough, uh, even after we do all the main quests, we're doing all the side stuff next, and I'm kind of excited for that. So, yeah, it's going to be quite interesting to see what happens. So, yeah, I'm going to save it right quick. And as I said already... That is where we're going to end it for this part of Oblivion. If you liked what you've seen and you haven't already, go ahead and give me a follow. Turn on notifications for whenever I go live. There are links below to follow me on both Twitter and Instagram so you can catch up on any stream updates I may have, such as next week. Next week there will only be two live streams. There will be the Mountain Blade Monday live stream next Monday, and obviously the next part of Oblivion next Tuesday. Obviously, uh, after that, no stream on Wednesday as usual. Uh, and plus I'm going over my brothers that day. Obviously, thir next Thursday is Christmas Eve. Next Friday is Christmas. So no streams on either of those days. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Obviously the weekend, the week after that is New Year's week. So, uh, again, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But there's also a link below to my YouTube channel where I post all the VODs for all my series. Uh, so you can catch up on them. So you can catch up on the Mountain Blade Monday series that I got going on. Uh, this week's session is slated to come out next Monday, as usual. And obviously, um, Tuesday's part of Oblivion should be going up sometime tonight. And obviously, I should hope to try and get uh, this part up tomorrow, which will be obviously Friday. I don't know why I said it like that. But yeah that he yeah obviously <laughs> obviously like i said thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow for fall guy friday as season three has just kicked off and i can't wait to see what new courses slash levels and skins they got going on so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow see ya